Hello. Oh, hey. Guess who's here? Yes. Hello, folks. Oh, my goodness. I have worked so hard trying to figure out how to get some nice backgrounds on those green screens. Well, they're already green screened. No, I mean, I got to get rid of the green screen and put something else in to make it look like a nice background. How do you do that? Well, it ain't easy. Some of them I've just decided I need to do a solid block of color and then put some effects on it. Seems to work for me at least right now. Oh, well, let's see what you got done. You really think so? Well, we can at least let them think, think you know what you're doing. Well, <laughs> that's going to take some work. Well, what else are we going to do? Just talk about this all night? No. Because it's probably boring people to tears. But they did, uh, I did get some responses on what we should do. One was about art. So that's what I've been talking about here is art of a sort. Not that I'd expect anybody else to try it. Not, not unless they really wanted to. Anyway, and oh, uh, let's see. A challenge. Somebody wanted a challenge. I'm going to do a challenge toward the end. Why toward the end? Because they got to stick around to get to it. Well, they could also fast forward. I think I might read a short story from last Christmas. And it's after Christmas. I don't care. Do you think they do? They might. But, 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 it was a cute one. And I was doing a lot of other stuff this year, this year remember? Getting ready for Christmas, like decorating, making decorations, and, and just fooling around. And reading the search, which I've not done with yet. I don't know if we should finish it or not. Why wouldn't you? I don't know. Should we finish it? That's that. Should she finish it? There's still about half the book to go. Should she finish it? We'll wait for an answer. For right now, I'm going to read Missy Charm and Claus. Missy Charm and Claus. Well, I'll be. Okay, here we go. Santa sat at his desk and read through his nice list. It had many names, but one he saw made him think of the wonders of family. He and Mrs. Claus never had a child of their own because they were too busy training elves, so decided they didn't need one. However, over a century or two, they watched as the reindeer and the elves had families who grew, married, and had children themselves. Little Missy Charm lost her way many years ago as a baby. Oh, that's sad. Yes. Someone left her at the Buffalo Bill Museum in Colorado. Well, that's pretty specific. Well, there is one. The curator called authorities who placed her in an orphanage. For some reason, nobody adopted the poor little girl, but passed her instead from foster home to foster home. Oh, what's wrong with foster homes? Well, some of them are great, but she kept getting passed around. Santa looked in his pile of letters for Miss Charms. He knew something changed for the girl since last Christmas. He opened the letter which had no return address on it. 
Uh-oh, how does he find her? Dear Santa, says, I'm 11 years old now, and I can't stay in the foster homes anymore. They only want me there to do all the chores. Must not have been a great foster home. Because there's a lot of better ones. I read Cinderella last year, and I thought and thought of how much I am like the girl who sat by the cinders. Yet, I'm different because no princes live here and no dances or fairy godmothers either. I went back to the museum, but they don't know. I've been hiding here. I'm sorry, but I sneak food from the snack shop and then mop the floors to keep to a deep shine because it's all I can pay. Is that really bad? Please don't put me on the naughty list. The only thing I want this year is a family to love me. Love from Missy Charm. Oh, I want to cry. <laughs> me too. Well, it gets better, guys. I know. I, I felt that way. Let's, let's wait. It gets better. Oh, my dear Mrs. Claus, he called out excited. Remember, it was Santa reading the letter. I know, but still a sad letter. Yes, it is. Oops. Went too far there, Buster. <clears throat> the Lady of the North Pole asked promptly. She wasn't used to Santa getting worked up. He handed her the letter, and after she'd read it, a tear dropped on the paper, smudging the ink. Oh, my dear Santa, we must help this poor child, she replied. Do you think it's time for us to take in a girl of our own, Santa asked. She's already worked hard enough for everyone else. We can show her happiness and she'll grow sturdy and loved. Yes, my dear husband, it's time. We can't leave Miss Charm to another winter alone. Take a toboggan and two reindeer. Bring her home by Christmas Eve. It's getting very near. It's true. The sleigh is not ready. And in Colorado, a toboggan will do well. It must be a big one for two of my best reindeer to pull. With that, Santa went to the shop and asked the elves for a special toboggan made well and quick. It must have sides and be slick underneath. It should also be able to be pulled by two trusty reindeer. Please have it all done by a quarter to 10 mountain time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've a special someone to accompany me home. The toboggan appeared on the snow-covered drive by the requested time, and Santa hooked Dasher and Blitzen to the harnesses, took the reins, sat on the broad seat, and exclaimed, Go Dasher and Blitzen, we've got a girl to save. Meanwhile, little Missy Charm, hid behind a large stuffed elk. Little Missy Charm hid behind a large stuffed elk. The museum had closed and her stomach growled. She snuck to the small snack shop and made herself a hot dog. Then she ate an apple from the pantry shelf. Careful to leave no trace, Missy grabbed a mop and bucket and set to work on the floors. They shine like a mirror when she was through. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good work. Oh, another Christmas is coming. Can Santa find me here? She cried to herself. Maybe she should return to the foster home place and clean the whole house. 
even if they only gave her leftovers and she slept on, on a sleeping bag in the closet. The clock on the wall struck 12 times in a row. Missy crawled behind her elk on a rag rug and covered herself with a coat. Just as this, she started to drift off to sleep, some noise at the front near the door spooked her nearly out of her wits. Oh, that don't sound good. Missy, a jolly voice came. I know you are here. I'm Santa and I've come to, for you, my dear. Slowly the girl slid out from her nook and saw that indeed Santa was waiting to take her somewhere. Oh, that would have been a little bit scary. A little bit at first, yeah. And then she saw who it really was. And it was Santa. Yes, it was. Slowly the girl slid, oh, I said that. Well, I'll read it again anyway. Slowly the girl slid out from her nook and saw that indeed Santa stood waiting to take her somewhere. Did you find me a family? Where will I go? Oh, Santa, I'm happy just to see you and I trust you so. The man of the north picked her up in his big fleece-covered arms. Missy, I love that your last name is Charm, but would you mind adding a clause at the end? For my missus and I, we've never had a child, and you're just ideal for our family. From that day forth, when you look to the north, remember Missy Charm Claus. As she grows up with joy and laughter like no other child. Oh, that's so much better than crying. Yes, it is. I like happy endings. That was a happy ending. Yes, it was. And guess who got a child? Mr. And Mrs. Santa Claus. Missy Claus is going to be so happy. Oh, don't forget to keep the charm in there. Oh, she is a little charm, isn't she? <laughs> okay, that was the story of Missy Charm Claus. Okay, now for the challenge. What's the challenge? What's the challenge? Well, it's not a hard one, unless, well, depending. Well, come on, get out with it. Okay. We all have initials. Mine are G, K, and F. So I'm challenging everybody to make a phrase out of your initials. George kisses frogs. <laughs> Shall we do our midnight song? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Good night, good night, don't let the bugs bite, good night, good night, sleep till the daylight, good night, good night, be kind to each other, good night, good night, tell someone you love him. Very good. Don't forget, do what? Smile <laughs> and wave. <laughs> wave. That's fun. I like to wave. Makes my head jiggle. <laughs> Makes my earrings go flippy flop. My earrings go flippy flop, flippy flop, flippy flop. Okay. <laughs> it's time to go. Okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on that little uh, notifications bell. Give us a thumbs up. And don't forget the challenge. Make a funny phrase or a good phrase, whatever you want, out of your initials. However many you've got, use them. 
Anyway, and we will see you. We love you. And tomorrow's another day. But remember, being friendly makes others friendly. Mm-hmm. <laughs>